It's a film that reflects issues facing Tunisia since the uprising. The Stardo focuses on the life story of a man called Mosen, who is rescued from the rubbish bins of a restaurant as a child and grows up in an impoverished neighborhood in Tunisia, only to be rejected by his community. Mohsen, who is referred to as Bastardo by locals, sees his fortunes reversed when a mobile phone company seeks to install a relay tower on the roof of his house in exchange for a monthly income. Encouraged by a friend to take advantage of his newfound influence, Mohsen attempts to wrest control over his neighborhood from his childhood friend turned gangster. The battle for domination between the two delves into the inherent corruptive nature of power, which sees leaders rise and fall. In Toronto, the spectators considered that this is a movie about capitalism, or even against it. Because capitalism is widespread there, and they are culturally influenced by it as individuals or as societies. However, in Tunisia and Arab countries, they considered this movie to be about power. Tunisia's revolt in 2011 electrified millions across the Arab world and fueled popular uprisings that spread to other countries where people suffered similarly from high unemployment, rising prices, repressive government and rampant corruption. Tunisian films used to tell a story that took place in Tunisia, but this one could be anywhere around the world. You cannot push the film aside and live without being affected. There are many lessons that we learn as the film moves along. We experienced an outstanding cast of actors. They portrayed the worst and the best of human beings. The film has drawn large crowds across Tunisia and may be distributed internationally. Maria Galang, CCTV.